All right, we got an interesting one for you today. If you're into old cars, uh, you've probably replaced a starter at some point from your local uh, auto parts store, and it was a rebuilt starter. And we're here at Sandy Springs Electrical today. We're gonna take a tour inside here, and they rebuild starters. So we're gonna give you a tour. You're gonna see how your, your rebuilt starter comes to be rebuilt uh, from, from a core. So let's go inside, see my good friend Erskine, and uh, take a look around. We're here at Sandy Springs Electrical inside where they rebuild the starters and uh, with my good friend Erskine here and he's going to give us a tour around uh, just kind of what happens. So everything first comes in this door here yep. needing to be rebuilt yep. and then uh, and then it comes around the whole place and then goes back out that door uh, as a finished product. And these are the actual Star entire starter. This is the way, this is the way the they come. Entire through. starter. They, they come in... Uh, all rusty and crusty and rusty, crusty, dirty. Starter sits on the bottom of the car, uh -huh. so it's always dirty. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Anyway, uh, big groups, little groups. Uh, so how, how do you know in this barrel of starters? How do you know which one is is for a particular type of, say, a Camry versus a Nissan or a is there any way it identifiers on each one? We have orders for specific numbers, so we try to find that core, and we sort through cores out of junkyards, uh, scrapyards, to find that particular starter. You know, we, and there, there are companies out there that sell starters by part or cores by part number, mm. and that's what we, that's how we perceive, you know, look for it. Everywhere you look, there's starters here. Yeah. And that's a gear reduction starter there, isn't it? Yep. Uh-huh. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's too good. Uh, we, you know, just starters, starters, starters. Are they, are, they, are, they, are they labeled by what what kind they are? Not what kind they are. We, uh, these come out of a junkyard. And, mm -hmm. and like all of these in this box, we've got three of one, five of one, 27 of one, and 32 of one. So ideally we would like to build 50 or 100 at a time, but uh -huh. yeah. if your customer needs uh, two, that's what you fill. We, we start off with the dirty floor. Yeah. First thing we do is disassemble. So this is the disassembly area right here. We're disassembling the starter. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is the internal armature here, yeah. and they'll be cleaned up and uh, washed. Yeah. Once we get it disassembled, we're we're going to have solenoid drive brushes. Field housing will each be its own rebuild. Mm -hmm. What's so that? So everything you put in that machine over there, just just uh, cleaning. Just just the uh, here here is old. It's been pulled down. Yeah. This might be a different number, but it's new. Blasted. Check for cracks. Check for. Ground, these have been blasted and ground. Uh -huh. we, saw, we saw this earlier. So this is this is the bee blaster? Yeah. Okay. It's like it's still it's still shot actually. Okay. Uh-huh. We're gonna have three of those. And what we do that armature uh-huh. It's over, it's over here. Is this, this crack there? Yeah. Probably doesn't hurt a thing, but our customer base will not take it. But, yeah. but if it's uh, just pitted a little bit, yeah. we'll grind it mm -hmm. and uh, then re-blast it and yeah. get, a, get a nice look on it. 
why it was a field housing. It just happens to be a permanent magnet field housing. It's not dirty. See, we got field holes in them. Yep. Uh, we will right here. That part of the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So these are new field housings here, ready to go and be loaded with the armature and uh, uh, brushes. And it's all really got the permanent magnet uh, field housing. These are the armatures for all these field houses here. We repolish or turn down every every uh, armature. I don't, I don't, this particular one, we're not doing it yet. It'll re-insulate, that's an insulating varnish. Yeah. So that's an insulating varnish right here. But it, it's, uh, it is, but it's also cosmetic. Yeah. Cosmetic. Okay. Back to, the, back to the solenoid. This is what you find when you get inside. It's burnt up. Yeah. So we replace, 100% replace all. That, that one actually looks pretty good. I don't know why it's there, but you can see the burn, how much, it, you know, it's burnt. Sure. Oh, yeah. And all this, all this is trash. Uh-huh. We, we replace brush springs and brushes 100%. So all these brush blocks and springs and brushes all get replaced. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. You can see the wear on. You can see the wear on there. It's, yeah. It should be yay long. Okay. Uh -huh. So these are the gear drives that uh, actually engage into the flywheel. Uh -huh. The more drives here, yeah, they, and, and so that, when they come out of the cleaner over here, this is what they look like, right? Yeah, the finish, yeah. uh, polish, finish, good, yeah. Uh -huh. Check all the teeth, the breakage, the square. Yep, yeah. 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 none of these have been rejected. So this is this is a new solenoid. This is the inside of the solenoid we looked at earlier. Yep, we got new contact. That contact is actually going to uh -huh. sit there. New, new contact here. Got it. And replated. That's the can. It, it, that, that is it. A can. similar can. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. And, and, and these have been replated. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. And this is the assembly of the solenoid. Yeah. Yeah. Be re or re welded or put on. Get new brushes, whether they are new or it don't matter. Yeah. It don't matter. Everyone gets a new brush. So this is a brush block. Brush holder with a whole two yeah. of two negative brushes. And you source these from an outside supplier? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, this, this is loaded. This pushing here is just something that knocks off one way yeah. of the Loaded brush. Uh, it's been re-welded. Re yep. Starter. So that's a that's a that's a Mitsubishi starter nose, and these are Mitsubishi the starters. Yeah. And that's a, a gear reduction or the gear planetary reduction. gear yep. starter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tear it up. But yeah. The drive we saw going through earlier is, uh -huh. is assembled. Yep. These are the the working instructions here to kind of. If you have any questions about what what tools are needed and uh, and then how this particular subassembly goes together, as it goes on down, the solenoid will be the last thing that goes yeah. on. The solenoid goes right here. Yeah. But yeah. before, before that depends on the unit. Before it goes anywhere, we will actually 
If it doesn't spin here, it's not gonna spin on the finish. Yeah. Does. So this is the this is the finished unit for that Mitsubishi starter we saw back down the line yep. here. Yep. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Yeah. Yep. We check the torque. It's got all the torque. Although it's assembled with torque there, we verify every, so everything's torqued here. It's torqued. Mm -hmm. It's torqued that assembly and, re, and tested here to make sure. Yep. We are uh, complying. It's passed. Yeah. Uh huh. Every, every part number is plugged in. This part number is plugged in. Okay. And, and you're checking for torque and load and all that? Yeah, it's checking for uh, high voltage, low voltage, make sure it's not going. Uh -huh. it's turning the right off in. Uh -huh. So it. It, it it really loads that starter up uh, much more than a car. Much more than it would in the, in and, the and installed it, application. It also runs low voltage to make sure you know. Uh huh. The voltage drop between the starter. Yeah. And the battery. Uh -huh. So it's got it's got to perform without the full 12 volt. So once these starters as we just saw are run tested over here, load tested, uh, they come over to this area here. And these are all, uh, all boxed up starters, uh, ready to go out and uh, ship to uh, various auto parts stores and uh, even dealers too. Correct? Yeah. Uh huh. So there you have it. You can see how the raw materials come in here, or the uh, uh, the, the starters that need to be rebuilt. We kind of saw the process of how they're cleaned, inspected, uh, polished, ground plated, uh, tested, and then shipping. So. Uh, I want to thank my, thank my good friend Erskine here at Sandy Springs Electrical for giving us the, the tour of the place. And uh, so next time you go to the auto parts store and you buy a starter, uh, you can see behind the you'll know uh, how that was rebuilt and the quality that went into it.